Dynamic and Bone Gang, so here's the situation. I'm working on about 27 seconds of sleep. This here is New Year's morning, which means last night was New Year's Eve, and it sounded like D-Day with a soundtrack right outside my bedroom window. So I didn't get much sleep, but I woke up early anyway because I wanted to get out here and get to my favorite duck hole that I, I often frequent. And, um... Apparently a lot of other people had that same idea. I figured people would be sleeping late because they were out celebrating, come bringing in the new year, nursing a hangover or whatnot, but I was wrong. There was about five or six trucks lifted with big old mud tires on there. I already made it to my duck hole, but that's okay because I forgot my daggone waders anyway. So, we had to pull an audible. We're changing the plan. I'm going to uh meander off into the woods, go sit under a tree and wait and see what comes out. Hopefully we can get a deer. Hopefully we can get a pig. But if either one of those comes out, I'm fairly certain we might be able to get a shot on a couple squirrels. Let's give anybody the Blair Witch vibe. Anyway, we're in the woods. Uh, found a nice little spot. I think this is actually the exact same spot that me and uh, me and Jared spotted those, uh, that buck chasing that doe a while back. And uh, the same trail we seen that doe that same time. So that was three deer we seen in one trip in this area. And that's the only time I've ever seen deer in this area. Uh, as many times I've hunted it, so... That's why I came here. Maybe we get a, uh, a good chance. But let me show y'all what we're working with here. How do I flip this thing around? So I got me a little spot set up. I got a little bunch of sticks that I put out. Made me kind of like a little blonde. I don't know if that helps any, but it makes me feel better. Got a little bit over there. And we got this big old tree that I'm sitting underneath. And watch this. Got my bag right there, my gun right there. And look at this little spot. Just cut out perfectly for my buttocks. Nice little leaning post right here. Big old tree, acorns everywhere. Got me a couple sticks right there to hide me. I think it's a pretty good spot. Nice comfy seat. Now we just wait. I guess uh, it's a good thing it's a comfortable spot. That way I won't have to keep moving and adjusting every couple of seconds. So I guess for now, I'll just uh, take a couple sips of my coffee and wait for the sun to come up. Hopefully something strolls along. If not, we go after them tree rats. Shouldn't have took three shots, but we got him. It's a nice squirrel. Well, 
couldn't take it anymore, guys. There was squirrels everywhere. So I loaded up the squirrel shot and uh, took that one out after a while. And then I just sat there. I didn't move for a while. <clears throat> I thought them squirrels would start coming back out because there was a ton of them. And then uh, just before I got up to come get this one, I had one run right here. But then he just disappeared. Like he was heading in my direction and then whoop, he was gone. Aired and got damp, had some fog or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> the children got in my bones. So I'm going to have to go ahead and do some walking. Because I'm telling you what. My feet are freezing, even in these insulated boots. Well, I guess we'll uh, try a different spot. All right, guys, well, the second spot was just as bad as the first. Actually worse, because I didn't see a single squirrel. So I went ahead and called it quits kind of early, because I had a plan to come back home, light the fire in the backyard, and cook the squirrel over an open flame. And you're probably wondering why I have these gloves on. Well, it's because I just cleaned the squirrel. And uh, found this in it. I don't know what's going on with that. But it was all up on the front half of his body. You can see. Well, probably can see. I guess maybe you can see. Can you see? All that stuff. They got it all mixed in up in there. All up in the fat and everything. I don't know what that is. And uh, I mean I've eaten some. I've eaten some strange things, probably more dangerous than that, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that just in case, because they say you know if you gotta question it, don't eat it. I'm not starving. I don't need it to survive. I hate to take a chance and uh you know die by death by squirrel. So tell you what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna use it as a trapping bait. I just spent my couple gift cards that my wife got me and got me two cell cams, two trail cams. That you can view on your cell phone. So I've been wanting to go set out some traps. Put the cell cams on there so we can monitor the trap. See what passes them by and doesn't get in the trap. See what does maybe touch the trap. Sniff and don't don't get caught. Uh, And other things. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and use that squirrel. For at least uh, for one of those sets. Maybe both sets. Maybe all the sets. So yeah, let me go upstairs. Put some batteries in those cameras. Figure out how to use them. And then... uh. Guess we'll get on doing that. Well, it's me again. Uh, as you can see, things just aren't quite happening the way we anticipated on this uh this video here cameras didn't work very well we lost daylight so here it is a couple days later and uh it's, it's raining it's raining raining pretty steady it's gonna be raining pretty steady most of the day so don't look like we're gonna put out traps today and i gotta get this video out so yeah sorry this video ended up being mostly a talking head video but uh you know i like to keep it real with you guys when it's good i like to show it and when it's bad I like to show that too because hey, that's life. That's hunting. And uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. But since I got you here and you made it this far in the video, I do want to take this opportunity to thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you guys, all you OG Bone Gangsters that's been around for a while. We're trying to get the channel up to 10,000 subscribers. That's going to be the next, the next, uh, uh, what you call that? They call that milestone. Milestone? I think that's what they call that. Yeah, that's what it's called, Milestone. So do me a favor, if you haven't already yet, hit that subscribe button underneath the video. You'll see it'll say subscribe if you haven't. It's got a little ED on the end if you already clicked it. And I very much appreciate that because, like I said, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers as the next milestone. Of course, we're trying to get to 100, 200, however many thousands we can get. But I certainly couldn't do it without you guys, and I very much appreciate it. Definitely appreciate all the comments y'all leave in the comments below. Uh, very encouraging. I do appreciate it. But, uh... Anyway, guys, I guess that's going to wrap it up for today's video. We are going to get out there, and I am going to use that squirrel uh, for traps. I got the cameras finally working. So, uh, you know, we'll get them out there, and uh, we'll have ourselves a time trying to catch some more of them predators. But uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Like. Hit the little button. Hit that little thumbs up button if you liked it. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'll guy our own thief.